After buying a new LCD, a lot of people face a common problem that the LCD is not working. Though the LCD is ok, but we can't print anything in the display. In this video, I will show you how to solve this problem. Here I have two LCD, one is 20 by 4 and another one is 16 by 2. We know that LCD can be used in two way, either directly like that or using an I2C display driver module like this. In both case, at first we need to check the soldering. If any pin of the LCD is shorted with another pin, then the LCD will not work. I hope all of you soldered it perfectly like me. Now we need to check the connection. It is more complex for direct connection because we need to use total 12 pin of the LCD. So I will recommend you to check the connection properly and also be careful to connect a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer like that. Sometimes we forget to connect the 15 and 16 pin of our LCD which is used for backlight. If we don't connect this, we will see a dark LCD without any light. So that we need to connect the 15 and 16 pin. The 15 pin will connect it to the BCC and the 16 pin will connect it to the ground. Okay, now we are looking that the backlight of this LCD is turned on and for this kind of display here we are looking that there is two pin and we need to short this two pin using this jumper and if we short this the backlight will turn on ok now we are confirmed that our all connection is ok but still we are looking that nothing is displaying on the display no problem now just rotate the potentiometer to change the contrast look at me if i rotate the potentiometer okay we are looking that there is a dot line in this display and also for this display if i rotate this potentiometer on the i2c display driver module we are looking that there is two dot line uh, in this display because it's a, it is a 20 by 4 LCD display. If your display is also showing that like me then you will confirm that you are near the line of success. After that now we need to check our code. If our code is ok then the display will must work. Let us see the program. For direct connection, just be careful that you have mentioned the pin number properly. The first pin is connected with RS pin so that we need to connect this pin number 2 of Arduino with the RS pin of our display. Second pin is enable pin, third pin is D4, then D5, D6, D7. We need to connect all the wire. Uh, by following this mentioned pin number and next we need to mention our display size in begin function lcd.begin function here i am using 16 by 2 lcd display so that here i have just written that 16 comma 2 okay this is enough for direct uh, connection and if we upload any kind of program by setting this our display will 100% work and if we are using the i2c display driver module then at first we need to install an external library for our i2c display driver module be careful that you have installed the proper library you can download the workable library file from my video description after installing the proper library, just check that you have mentioned the proper address in this function. 
now it will be question that how can we know the proper address of our i2c display driver for that we need to upload a simple code in our arduino this is the code okay i will give you this code in my video description just upload this code nothing need to change just upload this code to your arduino after uploading just open the serial monitor the arduino will now scan all the i2c device connected with arduino here we are looking that i2c device found at address 0x27 we have connected only the i2c display driver module with our arduino so that we are confirmed that this is the address of our i2c display driver module just write this address in in here and mention the display size exactly if you do this your display will work fine okay guys now we are looking that both of our display is now working fine i hope all of you understand that how can we solve the display related issue if you have any question feel free to comment in my video. Thanks for watching this video.